Jeremiah chapter 8. At that time, saith the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of his princes, and the bones of his priests, the bones of the prophets, the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem, out of the grave. 2 Kings 23.10 They shall spread them before the sun and the moon, and all the hosts of heaven, whom they have loved, and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked, and whom they have sought, and whom they have worshipped, they shall not be gathered, nor be buried, but they shall be for dung upon the face of the earth, and for an oriental person, not having a burial after death, that's that's a mortal sin. And what, what God's saying here is, is, listen, I'm going to take those bones out, and I'm not going to give you a burial. That is disgracing to you. Look what you've done to me. I'll place you in front of the sun, the moon, and the stars that you have worshipped. And you won't be buried. And death shall be chosen rather than life. You find this in Revelation 9, 6. All the residue of them that, of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Shall they fall and not arise? Shall he turn away and not return? Why then is this people of Jerusalem slighted back by perpetual backsliding? They hold fast to see, they refuse to return. There is no repentance. There is no going back from their sins. They are not turning to God. They are going worse and worse downhill. Backsliding. It pictures a, a animal going up an incline, sliding backwards. That's what backsliding means. They're going down, not up. Why then is people of Jerusalem sliding backward by protectual backsliding? They hold fast to seat, they refuse to return. I hearkened and heard, but they spake not aright. Nothing they said was right. No man repented him of his wickedness. No getting right with God. Saying, what have I done? They, they're not saying, what have I done? Everyone turned to his course as the horse rushes into battle. A, ro a horse has no sense. He just goes into battle. Yea, the stork in the heaven, the bird, knoweth her appointed time. And the turtle, the turtle double bird. And the crane a bird. And the swallow a bird. Observe the time of their coming. There's certain times and seasons that those birds do certain things and they know, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord. The, pe the, the, the people of Judah and Jerusalem don't realize the enemy's coming. And God has used Jeremiah and Isaiah and many prophets to tell them the time is coming and they can't see it. America can't see it. America can't see it. She's going to fall. How do we say we are wise? And the law of the Lord is with us. You know, they proclaim to be religious. The law of the Lord. Yeah, you may have the law of the Lord, but you don't have the law. Lord. you got the law without the Lord. Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. That's the religious people. Uh, wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord, and what wisdom is in them. 1 Samuel 15, 23. We got the law of the word, but we rejected the word of the Lord. That don't make sense. The law of the Lord is the word of the Lord. Therefore will I give their wives unto others. Death of the men. And their fields to them that shall inherit them. Death. For every one from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. I gotta have it. Can't afford it, but I gotta have it. From the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. There's your religion. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. Saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. 
Oh, there's a certain guy that runs around with a religious order crying peace, peace. There's a certain group of people in New York City that claim peace, peace. And there is no peace. Matter of fact, when they sent out their peacekeepers, usually sent out in a time of war. Kind of funny. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No. Nay. 615 we read. Neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, there's that visitation again, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. So when God comes, destruction. So I guess that's where you get the, you know, the death coming knocking at your door. That's what happened in Egypt. God didn't see the blood. He let the death angel go in. If he saw the blood, then God passed over that door and went to the next house. But the Lord allowed it. Job 1 and Job 2. The Lord said, okay, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Just don't kill him. And the Lord will say to Satan, okay, go ahead and take his life. I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, no fruit. Nor figs on the fig tree, no fruit. So there's no purpose. The leaf shall fade. Time of death. And the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves. And let us enter into the defense cities. And let us be silent there. For the Lord our God has put us to silence. And given us water to gale to drink. Because we have sinned against the Lord. And that's what your sin is. It's against the Lord. When God comes visiting, you're not going to say anything. Just ask Job. When God finally showed up, Job, you know, Job threw his, oh, if I could speak to the Lord, I'd say blah, 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 blah. And when God finally speaks, okay, Job, give answers. Oh, I'm just a sinner. That's what it's going to be like at the great white throne judgment. Men are going to be put to silence. They're only going to answer the questions that God asks. We look for peace, but no, but no good came. And for a time of health, and behold, trouble. The snorting of, of his horses was heard in Dan, up north. The whole land trembles at the sound of the, neighbor, of the nine of the strong one. It's an army, for they are come and have devoured the land, and our army, and all that's in it, utter destruction. The city and those that dwell therein. Death. Spoiling. For behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices among you, which will not be charmed. They're going to bite you. They're going to kill you. And they shall bite you, saith the Lord. When I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is fainting in me. Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in a far country, Babylon. Isaiah 39, 3. Is not the Lord in Zion? Well, not amongst the sins. Is not her king in her? Yeah, but he ain't going to do no good. Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images? Oh, that's the other sin of that church we learned the other night. Not only the, 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 the wafer and the, and the drink, but graven images. We read that in Exodus 20. And with strange vanity. And God doesn't even mention what there. He just says they're strange. Putting ashes on your forehead. Stuff like that, I guess, would be strange. Saying that. You bring forth children from outer space. That, that'd be strange vanity. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. 
and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. It's sore to God. I don't mean sore or angry. It means it, it just hurts God that his people are involved in sin and won't repent. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Fine, there is. Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Because we've already read. They have not repented. They have not gotten right. They will not do and they will not turn to God. But will keep on living in their sin. And that results in death, disease, sickness. That's the reason. 